It happens all too often. A management position comes available, and who gets promoted? Of course, the best sales rep or the best performer. Why not? They deserve it, right? But what if they don't possess the inherent personality traits necessary to perform at a high level as manager? What happens then? Time and again, I see this tragic scenario, and more often than not, here's what happens. The number one sales rep is promoted based on their selling skills. Unfortunately, selling skills are only a small part of what it takes to make a manager effective. For example, Billy Bob is the best sales rep in the company. He loves making commission, always does what he's told, never complains, and everyone around him likes him. We just uncovered three personality traits that while they allow Billy Bob to excel as a rep, they will prove to be his own downfall as a leader. So why? Simple. Let's look at those characteristics one by one. First, Billy Bob loves to make commission, which helps him excel in sales. However, what if the management uh, position is salaried? Although Billy Bob doesn't realize it, he has a high recognition level, which is why he loves commission and the instant gratification of knowing that this sale today just made him money. Now that he's on a salary, however, He'll no longer have that satisfaction of selling for his paycheck, and sooner than later, Billy Bob will be somewhat displeased with his compensation level. Next, let's talk about the fact that he always does what he's told, and everyone likes it. This makes for a great employee, no question. But high social need and low probing levels mean that Billy Bob may choose to side or sidestep awkward situations where he may be required to ask his subordinates to do things he knows he won't like. Finally, Billy Bob's low assertiveness will destroy his ability to effectively lead, motivate, and push his team to maximum performance. His willingness to just do what he's told and never rock the boat attitude will always certainly lead to a lack of respect amongst his team, and very soon Billy Bob will either get fired for underperforming, quit, because he can't handle the pressure, or just be asked to leave or, or be transferred to another location or department where he hopes he can find happiness in his job again. Unfortunately for you, your business just lost its best sales rep and a manager, which will cost your company thousands in lost sales revenue, training, and development expenses for his replacement. So before you decide that one of your reps is just entitled to a promotion, make sure they are wired properly for the transition. You'll save yourself a lot of time, money, and heartache. Finding a person's extreme personality traits can be the difference between hiring your next exit interview and hiring your next employee of the year. Ignore them at your own peril. For more, or for more tips on using advanced psychometrics to create your dream team in your industry, go to www.hirewellnow.com.